All right, I'm about to do my rise review for Joseph. So, I've already looked your site over. I actually had a recording that I did prior to this one, but I forgot to turn the mic on. So here we go. Let me just say, overall, I really like this. I like the layout. I like I like where you're going. I like the transitions. You know, I like everything you did here. However, this is the uh, rise review. I want to say, how could we make your name stand out in one line? Suggestion that I would give Joseph T.E. Hart so that we have your name in one line. And uh, filmmaker, director, and screenwriter, I would make that match in your, in your about. Director, screenwriter, and editor. Um, because you don't want to uh, confuse anyone of uh, or or make them think something of the other. Uh, get what I'm saying? Um, now, as far as your about page, I think this is dope. I like the layout. I like the texture. Um, it, ex it, 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 it says a lot about you. However, I would take the I would suggest that you take the paragraph box not the paragraph itself not not the paragraph itself we don't want to break the structure of your paragraph but find uh, there's a way to adjust the center alignment of your context box you know drag it over and center align it to the uh, to the building so that you know, we have an even view. When I see it off to the left like this, it, it makes me feel like I need to turn my head to read what you're saying. Um, so, uh, and then, you know, we, we, we miss out a lot of the beautiful scenics, like how you have over here. It just feels, un you know, it gives a feeling of being uneven. So if you just centered this, this would be fine. And also here, um, when you click on this, this is what we get. Uh, I have a suggestion for that. Um, not sure if you're into NFTs or stuff like that, but maybe some kind of creative art, something with your tag, a sticker, a GIF. Um, you know, maybe use Giphy.com and create your logo as a GIF for people to use on social media. And then you add that here and then rename this because this, this made this, when I seen this and clicked on this, it gave me that idea. Um, and yeah, just uh, gave me that idea and I thought about doing it myself. Uh, so I would suggest you not to not to completely remove it, but you know, get creative. Think of something, maybe uh, some bonus footage. Uh, you 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 know, with uh with with with, with your latest project or something, um, because I I think that's a good placement. Um, happy mistakes, you know. Uh, your video profile was very very unique. I like how the background relates to the uh, home ground and the contact ground uh, backgrounds um, and I liked how it's it's uh, it's locked the background is locked in the page slides uh, your videos are displayed very well however this dead space I would say um, if you have more work you know bal balance out your grid because the, the the dead space is it, it be, you don't want to you don't want someone to feel distracted you know 
that dead space becomes more important than the content that you're trying to display. Uh, if not, you know, maybe find, uh, you know, similar videos or, 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 or something um, of the sort, you know, some things you could add and, you know, inspiration, you know, what inspired you or, or maybe some photos of, of BTS, you know, behind the scenes, behind the scenes are real big. Um, moving on to the contact page, I think this is very unique. Uh, I'm drawn in right here uh, what gets me the solar panels on you know out western in his cottage there's solar panels you know where's the wi-fi you know uh do they have wi-fi how's the cell signal you know um but the picture draws me it doesn't make me want to i see contact but the what i'm saying is the picture takes away everything for me to read i mean I would say bold this, you know, make this bold, make this stand out because it's almost invisible. And then when you hear it in the rocks, it's very hard to read unless I highlight it. Um, even when the page scrolls, you know, it still becomes, it's still hard to read. Uh, at least make this bold. Uh, I italicize this fine. Um, here too. Be careful with colors. Uh, you don't want to uh, make it hard for those who are colorblind. Um, reds and greens are uh, not the best for text. So, like I said, again, this becomes hard to read without highlighting it. and um, Or at least put a stroke, a stroke outline. Um, you know, wrap your text. Wrap your text with a stroke, a different color of the actual font color. Um, but this looks great. I think you should have went with the uh, with the same color scheme. You know, that would have been great. But this gives a sense of life, like it, it, it brings life. So even if you do leave this in color, make this stand out. You know, don't let the background become the distraction. You know, this is beautiful, um, what we're looking at, uh, but don't let it distract what's important. Um, and uh, again, the dead space, uh, the, you know, your plans. Maybe if this is your style of format, putting everything to the left, maybe have something, maybe create a video explaining hey you should contact me and this is why and here you can you know check out my email the, you know have something in the dead space or or center center everything to the page that would be my suggestion but this is awesome um especially the home page how you got the video just bam right there uh i can tell you're not big on social media but you do have your linkedin you know, and your YouTube, and this works. Everything works. If I want to see more of your work and see what you're about, I'm here, YouTube page, and boom, I'll give you a subscribe. Uh, and then uh, let's connect on LinkedIn. So, yeah, everything works, and you did a great job, man. I think this would be dope if this was, you know. Copywritten 2021, Joseph T.E. Hart. Uh, you know, this not only, I think that that not only would strengthen your brand, uh, but give you a sense of identity. Uh, just something to think about. Joseph T.E. Hart, you know, director, cinematographer, writer. All right, man. Thanks for uh, watching this review, and uh, see you in class.